Hey guys, James here. On today's episode 29, we've got this. It's the puzzle I made last week. It's called the tea puzzle. Made up of four different parts, which you can use to put together to make all sorts of different shapes. Like this one, or this one, or this one, or this one, or many more. I made this last week out of wood, but this weekend I'm going away on a camp and we have four groups and each of them are going to get this challenge. So today I'm making four more and colouring them as well for the different group colours. Here we go. Alright, so this puzzle is pretty easy to make. It's basically uh, made up of five squares in the shape of a T. So you can see here, measuring out the T, made of five squares, to be able to split it up into four parts. All we have to do is take the same width diagonally across the edge of the T and divide it up to get our four parts. Fairly simple. The first part I'm going to cut is the simplest. It's just a small right angle triangle. So all I have to do is just measure a 45 degree angle on it, cut them out, and there we go. I have a few 90 degree triangles. Next one's similar. It's a 90 degree triangle also with a square attached to it. So that requires measuring the width of a stick as well as the 90 degree triangle. And there we go, four of those. This third piece is probably the hardest of them all. It's got two diagonal widths on one side and one diagonal width on the other. And then from those, we have 45 degree angles coming off. You have to be very careful to try not to cut too deep into the corners when cutting this one out. So you can see I start to go slowly here, cutting into the corners. And there we go. The fourth one has probably the one of the most confusing distances. It's three widths across, which is what I use the rule to measure, then one diagonal width back to work out where to cut. Once I've done that, it's just a simple cut across, 45 degrees, and there we got four of those. Next uh, job is to sand them all because I had to get all the pencil marks off as well as get rid of all the rough edges, you know, it's quite a few of them. Finally, give them a layer of paint, so I have blue, red, green, and yellow for the four group colors, and it makes them look a lot better once I've got a nice layer of paint on them. Here we go. Some of the pieces are still a little bit wet, so I've got to give them time to dry, and they aren't all exactly the same size, but I think they turned out pretty good. We'll see how they go this weekend. Um, so that's it for this episode of 29. If you have any other ideas for what I could make, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, click like and make sure you're subscribed. And we'll see you guys next time.